Philadelphia is a horse town, at least we're trying to make it that way. And this weekend, the city's hosting its first ever polo classic. So Jen Fred is at Fairmount Park, where it's going to take place, and you're teaching us some things to make sure we can be prepared. Yeah, so, yeah. so this is not exactly where it's going to take place. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good okay, morning. when we first met, we're basically best friends at this point. Of course yes. we are. Yes. Okay, when we first met, this was really just an idea. And I think in the spring, you were very hopeful that people would invest in this idea, invest in tickets. And people are doing this. You have to be incredibly proud. Uh, we're, we're so proud. I mean, we uh, we sold out over the weekend. Um, our general admission sold out. Our VIP area sold out. Um, we have very few, uh, very limited tickets in the Love and Grit Polo Classic Lounge. So those who are interested in coming, I'm encouraging them to buy now because I do not think uh, by the end of the day we'll have any available. Okay, and the whole idea is we're doing this so that you can build for this lovely woman yes. and the program Work to Ride an indoor polo ring. Yes, that's one of many things. But also, I mean, the long-term goal is to be able to raise money every year to support our operating budget, um, considering that we're getting ready to build a new indoor riding facility here as well. I love it. I read the book. I know all about it. The one thing the book, the book was a lot about you and yes. your family and the program, yes. and I love it. I didn't really learn a lot about the polo stuff. So you're going to teach me some polo moves. Yes, I'm going to teach you some polo moves, talk a bit about the equipment, talk okay. a bit about what to expect uh, during the day at the event as well. It starts at 10 a.m.? Starts, gates opens at 10 a.m., yeah. What, what time does my friend Nacho arrive? Uh, so Nacho will probably be around 10, 10.30 And well. he is the captain of the other team. You are the captain. There's two teams. There are two teams, yes. We, okay. have, we have Mount Gordon and, and Goshen Hill, and I'll be playing on Mount Gordon. And, okay. and, uh, and I'm rooting for you. Of course. But I, I want so. to look at Nacho. You're very handsome yourself, but we're friends, so I can't be that way that, with that's you. That's okay. Nacho, I'm minor crush. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cause he's gorgeous. Yes. He's flying in from Argentina to meet me. Yes, okay. of course. Okay. So uh, when are we going to do this? Okay. So this is so a so yes. Yeah, so this is a polo mallet. Okay. Most people think it's bamboo, but it's some sort of cane. Okay. Um, you know, when you're playing, you're actually hitting the ball on the flat side of the mallet here. Okay. Most people don't know that. You also have to use your right hand. So polo, if you're not right-handed, then you have no choice. So every polo player, you'll notice that they'll have the mallet in their right hand okay. side. Um, but you can hit the ball pretty much for any side of the mallet you want, but the most efficient part is here on the flat side. Okay, while you're riding a horse. While you're riding a horse, <laughs> while you're probably, you know, you can get up the speeds of 30 plus miles per hour. It's a contact sport, so you'll, similar in hockey, you have guys who are checking each other. As well as, um, you know, in, in hockey, you are allowed to, you know, hook the other person's stick. Um, you can do the same in, in polo as well. I won't be available. I know that you would like me to be on your team, but I'm going to be yeah. busy watching the whole thing. <laughs> but stomping of the divots, people have heard about it in Pretty Women. Pretty yeah. Woman. It's sort of like a divot from golf. Yes. It's when a piece of the grass or the, the there's like a hole in the... In yeah, so the, the horses, I mean, they're, they're thousand pound animals, so they're running and whenever they stop, they create divots. Uh, and then throughout the match, it becomes more difficult for players to hit the ball because the ball gets stuck in a divot. Okay. Similar to golf, you want to replace the divot uh, after you, after our... I guess during halftime, uh, so it's pretty simple, really. You know, yeah. you want to, I guess, make sure you're not stepping on horse crap. But uh, you know, you, you know, you'll see a divot. You'll, yep. you'll, you know, grab the piece of grass, put it back into place, and then you really just stomp it in and make sure that it's flat. Okay. And then you're just you're basically recreating the surface so that once we go back out there after halftime, we're able to hit the ball on a clean surface. There's going to be a chance for the dogs to do it. They'll do a doggy divot. They're just going to play, and we'll look at them. Yes. 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 So the dogs. I mean, so dogs are welcome. So those who are Planning to attend the uh, Philadelphia Polo Classic, you are able to bring your dog. Um, you know, we'll be, you'll be able to take your dog out at halftime, stomp the divots as well, but also just have your animal there to enjoy the day with you. He's a little chill today, this guy. Yeah, so this is Chowder. So this is our, our barn dog. Uh, I don't think Chowder will be in attendance, but um, we're we're welcoming everyone else's dog to be All there. All right, coming up in the nine o'clock hour, there's going to be fashion. There's going to be some drinks. We're going to have some. Is Louisa going to stick around? We can keep Louisa around, yes. Okay, I love it. Um, I am incredibly proud of what you've done. Thank you. Um, and guys, if you haven't read the book, <clears throat> read the book. Crossing, Crossing the line. line. Crossing the line. Yep. And by the way, Mike, I know that you're not much of a reader. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can get this done in like, it's a, it's a quick but important. It's, it's, a, it's, it's an easy read. read. It's, it's um, an easy read. And you're going to, as much as you love him now, you're going to be like, that's my guy. Unless Nacho comes to town, then it's a whole situation. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll dip into the nachos, that's for sure. Hey, Jenny, yes. where exactly is yeah. the match? 
So the match is going to be in the soccer fields that are also in Fairmount Park. Okay. They're more down that way, but you know, there's the, the kids are using these rec fields all the time. So yeah. you literally only have 24 hours between getting the field, setting it up, having the event, and breaking wow. it down. And yes, we do. But fortunately, we have a great team of people behind oh, us yeah, to get it done. Okay. So yeah, like see how this is a baseball field down the street a little bit. There's a bunch of soccer fields. Um, and they'll play. If on you the have your ticket, field. it will okay. say where it is.